In this review we're looking at a new model of a heavy haulage trailer. It is from WSI Models and it's the Notabome Mega Trailer Extendable. This model is in Notabome house colours and it comes in a Notabome branded box. But when we open it up we see that the model comes in a tray just like most WSI truck models. As usual the lid is sealed by tape so we need to cut that first. And then we are able to lift up the lid and get the model out. So let's see what's in the box and the first out is a Scania 6x2 tractor. And we swiftly follow that with the mega trailer itself. Then we have a bag containing some parts. And lastly there's a plastic certificate of origin. But interestingly the tractor and trailer numbers on the card don't tie up with the ones on the model. Assembly is limited to connecting the tractor and trailer and clunk click does the trick. With the Scania upside down we see it is typically detailed and there's a comprehensive exhaust system and the transmission and suspension is there with different tyres on the driven and steered axles. On the roof of the cab there's a couple of air horns and there's a lot more detailing towards the front including lights and the Notaboom name. The door mirrors are coded in the Notaboom red line colour scheme and the front of the Scania looks great with its distinctive grille and tiny badges. There are nice lights and there's also a realistic number plate and chevrons on the bumper. Looking side on and there are nice textured steps leading up to the cab and the wheels have red painted hubs. Also nice is the Notabom logo and door handle. At the back the cab has got nice texturing and there's a set of coiled lines. There's also a diamond plated walkway. Moving to the back and the Notabom logo is on the mud flaps. The mega trailer is very detailed with a structure at the front and behind the landing legs there are tanks with hoses. There's also a highlighted winding handle. There are a couple of boxes modelled but they are hollow on the insides and solid would have been better. Moving on to the axles and they are very detailed. There are lots of hoses and cables and there are small tanks with hoses coming out. At the back there's a box that looks like it's for loading ramps. And at the back there are stabilisers for end loading but they're fixed and not adjustable. Looking at the front of the headboard and there are some extremely tiny graphics. And it's nice again to see the Notabom logo represented. Along the edge are more small graphics including the trailer number and also a yellow stripe. The trailer deck has got a nice combination of plastic replica timbers, textured surfaces and structure. Certainly one of the highlights of this model is the detailing and there's plenty to look at. And that continues at the back with a nice Notabom logo. We start with the Scania and the driving axle spins very freely and there's link steering which has a shallow range of movement. Driving along the Scania rolls along very nicely in a straight line but it's a bit more challenged when it comes to cornering and it skids just a little bit. The cab tilts to reveal a detailed engine and the balance of the model is good too because it doesn't tilt forward when the cab is tilted. The trailer axles have got sprung suspension on every axle and there's also linked steering of the three axles. It works well enough without being perfectly precise. Moving towards the front and the landing legs can be lowered in the usual way by unscrewing and there's no unsightly screw threads. The model also has four marker boards, two at the front and two at the back and these are pre-installed and you pull them out to make them visible. This works well enough although they can be a little bit tight to actually pull out. Right side up and the trailer works well with all of the wheels being grounded. And it's nice also to give the deck suspension a workout. If we set the rear axle steering we can try it out and see how it performs at cornering. And it's fairly good. The other main feature of this trailer is its extendability. And as you can see, it telescopes out a long way. 
Let's get the tape out and do a dim check. And fully extended, the model is about 61 centimeters or two feet long. Another option you have is to fit the deck posts, but you might have to fiddle with them to get them to stand straight. The deck edge also has pull out beams to extend the width, but there were no spanning timbers provided with the review model. The main feature of a trailer like this is its flexibility. And first up, we'll fit some container locks. And with those, we can fit a 45 foot container. Or there's enough locks to fit two smaller containers if you want. Another load we can try is a long piece of structural steelwork. So the giant hand crane sets that on. And we'll readjust the length of the trailer to make it a good fit. Another option is to fit a crane boom section, and that looks good. Or perhaps we'll try two sections of tower crane mast. Or as another option, we'll try two machines. And these look nice and squeezy, but rather stupid. This is another very high quality haulage vehicle from WSI models. And it looks very attractive in the limited edition Redline Notabome colour scheme. It is a highly detailed model and it's also very flexible in how you can display it. So overall, if you want an interesting truck model, this one is Excellent.